Ankysaurus, meaning close lizard, was a genus of sauropodomorph dinosaurs that lived during the early Jurassic. It was one of the smaller species of early sauropodomorphs, which are sometimes called prosauropods or platyosaurids. Ankysaurus measured 2 meters in length and weighed around 20 kilograms. The earliest fossil remains of sauropodomorphs were discovered in 1818. The first identifiable fossils belonging to Ankysaurus were discovered in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1855. They were named by the famous American paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh in 1885. Three skeletons of prosauropods were also discovered in the Connecticut Valley. These were originally assigned to the Ankysaurus genus by Marsh, but were later assigned to other genera. Fossil remains of similar sauropodomorphs have also been discovered in South Africa. Early sauropodomorphs like Ankysaurus and the European Platyosaurus were a successful group of plant eaters. Ankysaurus was a typical member of this group. It was lightly built and agile, relying on speed to avoid carnivores such as theropod dinosaurs. The diet of early sauropodomorphs has been a matter of debate among paleontologists. Their teeth were adapted for shredding plant material. The jaws were also positioned low, which is an adaptation improving the effectiveness of the teeth along the jaw. Fossil remains from other sauropodomorph genera have revealed that these dinosaurs swallowed little stones, which are called gastroliths. These small stones help grind plant material in the digestive tract to ease its digestion. Sauropodomorphs also had long necks and legs, which indicate they browsed on higher vegetation. They were possibly the first group of reptiles to evolve such a feeding mechanism. Earlier herbivorous groups of reptiles, such as the Triassic rhynchosaurs, had all been squat, short-necked creatures that couldn't reach higher vegetation. The skeletal material of Ankysaurus consists of a large part of a skeleton, which lacks the tail and much of the neck. Ankysaurus had a very small skull compared to the overall size of its body, as well as a long and slender snout. Its teeth were round, slender and pencil-shaped, and they may also have been serrated. This dentition allowed it to shred plant fibers. Ankysaurus would have fed on ferns, horsetails, conifers and cycads which were common during the Jurassic period. The neck of Ankysaurus has been reconstructed based on material from other early sauropodomorphs. It likely had a long, slender and flexible neck. Its back would also have been slender, Ankysaurus would thus have had a long-bodied look. It would also have had a long tail, which provided counterbalance for the front half of the body. Ankysaurus would also have had a large gut, like many herbivores, which is needed to store plant material that takes a longer time to digest in the gut. Ankysaurus had uniquely designed limb bones. Its back legs were robust and were designed to carry most of the body weight of the animal when walking. The foot was also broad, with four well-developed toes and remnants of a vestigial fifth. Ankysaurus also had well-developed front legs and shoulders. The shoulders were robust and it had relatively long arms. Early sauropodomorphs have often been depicted as quadrupeds, but more recent research has revealed they were primarily bipedal, including the famous Platyosaurus. The hand of Ankysaurus was quite unique. The fourth and fifth finger were small and slender, and may have lacked claws. The other fingers were less developed, and it also had a large, sharp claw on its first finger. The claw may have been used to root up plants or to defend itself.